Four years ago, I pulled dusty boxes of color slides from a closet in my parents' house. In 1978, a returning missionary gave me my first camera, a Pentax K1000 35mm. I knew nothing about photography and had no higher aspiration for my pictures than to show them to friends. Nevertheless, for the next five years, I aimed the lens at my world, the camera granting me the freedom to express in photographs what I could not say in words. At the time, I was a born-again Christian, an evangelist and campus minister for InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, an evangelical student organization that boasted over 500 member groups at colleges and universities throughout the U.S. Seeing the slides flicker on a screen in their code of color glory brought back a time that I had preferred to forget, a part of my life that both pained and embarrassed me. It was my job to nurture and establish fellowships of Christian students on secular campuses who would encourage one another in their faith and who would take the saving message of Jesus Christ to their non-Christian peers. I counseled and prayed for students, led Bible studies, taught at weekend conferences and summer camps, engaged in missions in Central America, and took Jesus to the beaches of Fort Lauderdale, Florida during spring break. Yet, during those years, I kept a secret from my friends, colleagues, and family. On the outside, I appeared the good and perfect Christian, but on the inside, I struggled with my sexuality. I was in love with my best straight male friend and not in love with the girl everyone thought I would marry. My choices were few, either deny my sexual urges and unite in a sexless marriage, or come out as a gay man and lose everything that had ever been important to me. In 1983, finding strength in the words of Christ, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, I resigned from the ministry, came out as a gay man, and moved to New York City where I became a photographer, pursuing the passion I had first discovered during my Jesus days. But my Jesus days are not quite finished. More work is to be done. I want to make a beautiful art book of these photographs, which would also include text and story. I have assembled a fantastic team to help make this book a reality, a book that I imagine anyone today would want to hold in their hands. A few months ago, I received an unexpected email. A student from my Jesus days had tracked me down on the internet. He wrote of the positive influence I had had on his young life, but he said that he was very sad about my present life and that he would pray for me that I would return to Jesus. The email made me realize that the past is always present, but we need not allow it to determine our futures. To make Jesus Days a reality, I need your help. Jesus Days will require around $25,000 to bring to completion. This is not small change. It will be a well-made book, and the photographs will be printed in a manner that brings out their full Kodachrome colors. Funds raised will cover the cost of printing and shipping, the fees to Kickstarter and Amazon.com, travel to the printer, mailing cost, photographic prints on archival papers, scans, rewards, and distribution. I am now in contact with bookstores here in the United States and abroad, where I may distribute Jesus Days. With Kickstarter, it is an all-or-nothing situation. The entire budget must be raised in order to receive any of the funding. Please give at whatever level is comfortable to you. Every mouth is important, and you will receive a reward back for your generosity. A postcard, a poster, a book, a photographic print, a sitting with a photographer. Please let your friends know about this project and urge them to become involved. Thank you.